Hello, everybody. How are you this morning? Uh, let me turn down that music a little bit. I hope everybody is doing well on this uh, lovely Thursday. Assuming it's Thursday for everybody. Is it tomorrow yet in Australia? I wonder if I have any Australians watching. So uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be building a stream overlay with uh, Ember.js. This was our um, community challenge. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Let me see. Words and challenges. I think they're called community channel points challenge. I don't know what any of this Twitch stuff is actually called. But the uh, the idea was that we needed an upgrade. I had this lovely thing. Let me do if I let's see if I do npm start. I had this lovely thing. Uh, where is it gone? Gone. Boop boo. Programming to do items. If I do this, does it turn on? <laughs> yes. I have this lovely thing up here, which is not the nicest. And we have some people who are. Uh, not all that happy with the, the E at the end of live hanging out over the edge. So we're going to, not only are we going to fix that, <clears throat> we're going to build in some of the other functionality that I need. Ooh, that's on the wrong screen. Fix that. Boop -boop -boop. So I also had uh, this, where is it, timer? Interesting, it never actually does the, I think, full day dot app, this thing. So I have this thing that I use for timer. Bing bada boom. Uh, stream overlay, client me. Uh, and this is nice, this is a nice little tool that I built myself uh, many moons ago. But it's not really built for a stream. Uh, what else do I have? What else do I have? Um, I'd also quite like to get some chat stuff going on. So if people start chatting to me in the Twitch chat in here. Hi, everybody. Let's do a, a wave. Nothing actually shows up on screen. I have a I have something elsewhere that does it. Oh, did my timer stop working? Oh, it only works when it's in the foreground. It's a bit odd. As you can see, there are plenty of problems with this setup and I need to fix them all. Let's see. Um, if I do just chatting. Hello, everybody. Oh, that's another thing. I built that little timer um, that does the countdown for five minutes. Um, but if I do, hello, everyone. It does pop up. Look at that. Oh, it's got a nice little animation, actually. I wonder if I'm going to be able to recreate that. Mm. We'll see. But this is the this is the kind of um, the feature set of the things that I actually want to do. Uh, program. And I'm going to try and build it from scratch today in the three-ish, two and a half-ish hours that I've got to do this. So let's see. Time to get comfortable and see how far we can get. Um, also, uh, oh, I should probably have done. I don't know if I can change the tags on this stream. I want to say back street back seating is allowed. Please do if anybody's watching. Tell me all of the things and uh, and uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong. What could be improved? Uh, I'm also just going to share my stream with my <laughs> with my colleagues. Uh, I think that should be enough. Actually, I shared it on the Ember Discord. If anybody's not on the Ember Discord. Uh, you should join in. Anyway, so, um, right. 
I have myself a an overhead view here. Oh, look, things actually worked. So I have an overhead view so that I can draw what I'm expecting to build here. I want to keep the same layout as what I've got right now. Let me see if I draw. But oh, it's not even very dark as I need to use a pen. <gasps> Am I confident enough to draw with a pen? This upside down. Okay, so this is uh, with some stuff here. Ah. So that is backwards for you all. I want that to be the same as what I see. Let me see. Let me change this. Add flip. Oh no, I just do flip. Ah, uh, here we go. We're not even 10 minutes in and I'm already, how do I even stream? Transform, flip vertically. Oh, it's looking better. It's not 100% good because if I say, hello, it's backwards. So I need to transform, flip horizontally. Huzzah, much better. So now you see what I'm drawing in the right uh, direction, orientation. Okay. So um, this is what I'm hoping to build. So this here will be my screen. So I'll have uh, programming windows and probably some tomsters going on here. Whee! Um, and then I'm going to have me down in the bottom, as I always am. So I'm still going to have this, like, uh, green screened, sitting in the corner. And I like this idea of having, like, a little, little place to sit. So, like, having some sort of, like, a, a visual... You see this thing here I've got beside me that's like a purple, purple line. Um, that's what I'm kind of going for. Uh, and then obviously we'll have some space down here. This isn't the right portions, but I was thinking that we could use this space down here for like a chat message could pop up. Like it would pop up chat messages and then you'd essentially have a stack of them going this direction. So like latest chat messages here and then Depending on what size, we could probably get. Yeah, we could have it as like one, two, three, four, four or five chat messages kind of slowly shifting off screen and then fading out if they stay for too long. And then, okay, obviously we'll need some sort of timer here. So like we have our 25 minute timer. And I like this idea of like, um, you know, like a built-in circular, uh, whatever it's called, the, the countdown timer thing. Look, and then obviously we need our title up here. I might have it as a kind of like an opaque title that overlaps the screen, but the live will still be inside this box so i'm gonna say, it's probably gonna say open source live that's kind of what i'm going for with my my branding for this um this stream and then we need our to-do items boom 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 so it's essentially everything that i've got right now but we're going to be aiming for slightly better uh, consistency? Oh, my brain isn't working very well this morning. Hopefully I can code better than I can speak. So we're going to be, it'll all look more together. So instead of this timer of mine looking like a, a window, an app window hovering on top of my Twitch stream, which it is exactly, that's exactly what it is. Um, I'm going to have it as part of the overlay. We'll see how that works. And then I was also thinking that, you know, we had our, our goal, our Twitch goal, 
for um, uh, the building this overlay. I want to do that more often. I want to have like follower goals or um, I think they have, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to go into just chatting for a second. What's this? Supporter bar. This looks odd. Yeah. So they have this thing. Which will probably go. Oh, coder snacks. New follow. Is that right? Oh, it is working. So the newest follow I have is Coder Snacks. Cool. How did I get that? That's very interesting. Um, new tip, top tips. Well, we don't have tips here. Yeah. Anyway, it's interesting. So I want to have like a little band. Oh, I'm not programming. I'm doing drawing I want to have a band for that sort of stuff here so maybe like a goal whatever the goal of the day is and 80 percent always have it like almost there so people contribute and then like calling out people who have subbed which i am always very grateful for like it is amazing that i get to do this for, for fun and that everybody comes and watches it's a lot of fun to do this um, I'm anybody develops with Ember JS. It is always a lot of fun, but uh, having people giving me bits and uh, subs is just phenomenal, and it makes me feel really grateful. So I want to show that here. I want people like latest follow or top follow, or you see that on other people's streams as well. So that's my goal. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to finish it today, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how far we get. Um, like obviously some of this already is already there for me. You don't need to do the screen bare part, but we can do the rest. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Um, hope the, I hope you like the fact that I tidied my desk for y'all today. And uh, with that in mind, we need to switch back to it and have a look at any time we can. With that in mind, let's get started. Um, oh, I didn't put my... Um, template, what's this? Oh, I'll close all these. Okay, that's good enough. I didn't put my... Uh, terminal in the right place. So let's make this a bit bigger. CD. So I'm going to go into CD git streaming because I have a folder specifically for streaming nowadays. LS. So um, I already have a stream overlay and that's already, that's already an Ember app and that's only there so that I can um, have this timer thing. Uh, let's see if I can add one in here just so we can show. Um, where is it? Just chatting. Five minute timer. So let me uh, do I double click it? Yeah, buddy. Uh, cancel. Go back to our program. So what this is this is actually running at the moment. I have it running on a different a different terminal. And what this is doing, uh, let me actually go into a new one. Um, what this is doing is just it's a it's a giant. Uh, timer but it's however many seconds you have it's like uh, let's do 329 seconds hey so like whatever you put in here it'll start the timer 
at that time. And what that means is we are going to add a web overlay just as a test. What do they call it? They call it a browser source. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to do an alerts. Interesting. I'm going to do a new browser source and it's going to be uh, overlay testing. Add source. Oh, hello. I'm going to do this. Uh, and it's interesting because actually, let me put this over here so you can see. This is the kind of key to everything that we're doing. So I've now just added that as a timer. There's too many timers on this. I'm going to close that. I've added that as a timer. And as you can see, it's transparent in the background. So I can kind of move it to wherever I need it to be, which is nice. But it gives me this input here where I can do width and height. And I want to do 1080p. 1080 by, well, am I going to remember it? 19, 1980? Is that right? I bet you I've got that wrong. 1080p. 1920. 1980. Oh. So what that gives us, if I put it right there, so that I now have this browser source, control audio by OBS. Well, that's interesting. Margin zero, auto, overflow hidden. Interesting. And scene becomes active. I click done. That's now added. We have this giant timer. That's not all that use to us. Uh, overlay testing. But that gives you the idea of how this is going to work. Because what we're actually going to do is we're going to put a different browser source. That will be our uh, MPX Ember CLI at latest new beam overlay. Oh, uh, actually, it needs to be new. So I'm actually going to generate a new Ember app. Um, I use this trick. Oh, good morning, Nick. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are ready for some awesome overlay action. Uh, just to kind of share the trick that I just did there. If I've actually shared it on Twitter before, let me see uh, if I've got this. Not open what I was hoping it to open. No, no, but uh, oh, be broken. Was quick. Go away, tweetbot. The fact that I'm npm installing when streaming, that my computer is freaking out. Okay. Tweetbot. Close you. Huzzah! So I have this kind of global thing to, like, command option shift T, so I can always tweet something. Uh, pro Ember tip. You all, if you want to create a new Ember app and make sure you have you are generating the latest generating app with the latest Ember CLI can always do npx ember cli at latest new my app name ember regardless 
version of Ember Eli. Oh. Ta da! There we go. And while I tweeted that, we have our overlay is here. So npm start. NPM start. <laughs> I wonder if I want to do a an RFC to say when you do Ember New, you should CD into that folder. <laughs> Gets me every single time. I generate a new Ember app, and then I forget to CD into it when I'm trying to start it. Troll of the century. Okay. Okay, so now we have ourselves an overlay. Uh, localhost 4200, because it's always localhost 4200. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the URL for the overlay testing that we had. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Ember has taken over. Let's make this. Um, oh, it's interesting. What do I do? I should put MacBook camera above overlay testing. Ah, look at me. I'm in an Ember app. Um, yeah, but that's the idea. Oh, no, that's not the one I want to turn off. That's the idea. And we now have a web page uh, that we can use to develop. But let's change this a little bit. Let's uh, let's open this in Atom. I open it as a tab. Come on. Did. Woohoo. Oh, you can't see this because <laughs> there's a little bit too much going on, on the screen there. Turn off. Close some of these windows. Okay, so we now have a new stream overlay. Let's go into our application template, which is the first thing that we do in most apps. We've got a blank screen. I'm going to call this H1 Open Source Live. Amazing. Um. Hmm, what's next? Oh, we'll turn this back on. Overlay testing. <laughs> Do you notice the difference? Do you see in the top we have Open Source Live right there? So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do something here. So, as it's just plain HTML and CSS, we're going to do H1. Um... <sighs> Well, see, this is where things get interesting. What is this using? So this is using purple background. Let me see. Let me see what color that is. Watch. It's this it's purple. I copy to the... Um, color black. Uh, programming. <laughs> and so the madness begins. So uh, if anybody doesn't know, uh, I was using this thing, which is called Swatch. Which... There you go, swatch.io. So, like, I know there's a thousand of these things, but it's uh, it's a pretty nifty one that I quite like. Uh, built by a friend of mine, Chipshape Consulting. They are uh, one of the guys who owns it. The guy who owns it uh, is also on the Ember uh, learning team, which is pretty cool. 
So if you're ever looking for one of those, I would recommend Swatch.io. But this is it. This is how the fun begins. Uh, I'm going to try something. I want to see. That's interesting. So I know that when you're developing an Ember app and you make a change to the app, it has like a live reload and it refreshes the thing for you. But I didn't know that the overlay was going to work with live reload. This is going to make things an awful lot easier for us. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so what was the color scheme that we actually had over here? Just check. We have green on purple and white on purple. But what's that green? Let me go and find what green that is. Uh, get back. Pew, pew. Okay. Uh, can you put spans inside? H ones. People who know anything about HTML are probably screaming at me right now. Uh, oh, I need to go back to programming. Boom. Uh, oh, and make this much, 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 much bigger. So I'll put our color at the odd green. Oh, that doesn't look nearly as good. Hmm. Anyway, loads of stuff that we can mess with here. And then uh, H1 span color. Right. Open source live. Now we are we are done for our first timer. <laughs> and we are almost ready to ship this thing. Totally not true. Uh, let's go and do a just chatting. Oh, I still have my top tip stuff. New follower. Supporter bar. Turn that off. Uh, cool. Peace. So that's the, um, the first of what of the build has has begun. <sighs> the um, thing I hope some people who aren't very familiar with Ember JS actually get out of this is that it's it's just HTML and CSS mostly. Like obviously there's some JavaScript stuff that we'll be doing to do A funky magic. Um. Ooh. Hey Anne, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, I, I still love it when the uh, when the chat messages actually pop up here. That's one of the reasons why I want to I want to make sure that at least the goal for this overlay is to have some sort of chat implementation. I wonder is that uh, music too loud for y'all? Quite loud for me, but I think I've turned it down in here. So let me turn it down a bit more. I'm gonna go three percent. Oh, we're on the TV. Oh my god, I always wanted to be on TV. <laughs> um, I feel like a star of the small screen. Or is it the silver screen? I can never remember which one's which. Um, cool. So, uh, actually, oh, I can't see. This is interesting. I can't change the. Can't change the screen without stopping the timer. I guess it's going to be one of those kind of strange, uh, all over the place, um, all over the place streams today. I don't know if you were here, uh, Nick and Anne, 
to see me sketching out my plan for the the overlay um it's a, it's almost done now if you if you saw what i was working on uh actually we need to change we need to add the add the browser source on here overlay testing it looks it looks exactly like what i've drawn out here <laughs> so um what in the last minute of our our break we'll uh we'll go for this the we'll do an overview of what i, what I said first time around you can catch it so like i said like i've just done i'm putting in like a title um it's obviously not 100 percent finished uh then we're going to hopefully put in a to-do list here this is going to be interesting because the to-do list that i have on the screen at the moment is actually using some person's uh do I have? maybe i should have a stream stream overlay i do have a stream overlay move you over here Maybe let's close that one and add it in here. Add project folder. New stream overlay. This looks way better. Uh, okay, one second. Text my wife for a second. We have a plumber coming and he is going to be here in 30 minutes. Okay, so um, this is the OBS task list overlay that I'm using for the to do item up there. And it's interesting because it has a I don't even know what is it jQuery script.js um, um I don't even know what this is using But the point of it is that they have a, a config. There's a gun. Server.js. Oh, so it is a, it's like a, an express server. Where's a gun? Where's my config? Example config.json. Oh, because it's, I couldn't see it because it was hidden by Git. So it has this. So it's like, reads the server port. This is where the, the, the title comes in. And then you just have task list items, but you can skip from one to the other by going, um, let me see, curl, no, that's not right. Um, the uh, local host, there we go, up, haha. -ha. So it's like, it has a, a an up and down uh, ability that you like you so you can kind of swap what the next um, task you're actually working on is and I want some sort of interface that we can do this so that I can like push a button somewhere and it moves on to the next task but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that but that's how it's going to work um, oh, I'm not actually sh sharing the right screen but yeah you could see it go up and down and then I want to incorporate my timer in here so it's not a separate uh, app. I, I still want to be in the bottom left, I quite like this. And then the most important thing here um, is for chats. Um, I want the chat messages to come in from the bottom in this kind of gap that we have here. We're going to slide in and then like slot over from that. Um, that's that's the goal and then there's like other things that i want to add but we're never going to get to that today this might be a two stream job maybe i spend a first bit of a stream tweaking the overlay and then move on to something else 
<clears throat> okay, so I think that's enough for you. Let's go into the actual code again and let's start this. I might need to actually take a break in half an hour. Um, So I don't think I need to go in and let the plumber in. Uh, <laughs> uh, happy to have you as a chat tester, and that would be uh, that would be awesome. Um, okay, cool. So where are we? So we have our new stream overlay which is running, uh, and let's go down and have a look at it here. Uh, we have our template, application, and our styles. I'm curious how to make a H1 not be a hundred percent with uh H one inline block. So if I do uh inline block, does that make it only be as lot? Ooh then we probably need some padding because we want the purple to be there. So I'm going to do padding. The EMs are the right thing to do, isn't it? It's like one EM, two EM. Up, down, left, right. And five EM? Oh, that's looking better. Uh, open source. Okay, but why is it? We have, do we have? Inspect. Probably need like a, a reset or something. Because body has some padding. move oh and there's h1 oh god padding and margin zero there we go open source life maybe we do want a bit of margin uh There we go. That's not so bad. So let's um oh, see this is interesting. I don't know what I want to do with this. Display inline block is nice, but I like the fact that it's overlaid. Maybe I want a higher okay, so first of all there's another thing I need to do. Let's fix the um Let's fix the font. So I had this in my other one, in my stream overlay. This is the one that does the numbers for me. Uh, app, dials, app. Font family, Montserrat. <laughs> so uh, when I got this overlay, it like told me all the bits and pieces. And that now is gonna be the same same font as this stuff up here. Open source live, just chatting. Uh, which is nice. So that means that we're going to have a little bit of a better. This will go wrong if you're doing larger, longer text in your title. What will go wrong? bit have I done wrong <laughs> but that's it it's actually doing exactly what I wanted to do now I wanted it to kind of like overlay the um 
overlap the actual uh, screen here, which is, yeah, that's the, it will overlap more. Well, see, so this is another thing that's, that's, um, that's kind of the benefit here. We are dealing with a fixed width of everything. It's not a, it's not as dynamic as like a web page where you've got different screens. Because it's an overlay that's supposed to fit on 1080p, it is exactly 10 uh 1 1920 by 1080. Like that's exactly how many pixels we have. So we can be more specific about things. Um Okay, so we have some colors. Let's have a look at let's have a look at actually other screens that this overlay stuff that I'm using has. Uh, you won't be able to hear me on the next one because I'm going to go to the introduction. <laughs> yeah, the um I ha I don't plan to change the title. We might have a subtitle. Um, yeah, it's interesting because we might want to have a subtitle. So this is like our header, and then we're going to do maybe div uh, class equals sidebar. And this one, we want to have a definite size but let's decide what that size actually is so we have our display capture oh why can't i see you let's move you down out of the way display capture oh that's annoying i'm gonna make it 400 pixels from the left hand side so that it's and then we have 130 at the bottom this is brilliant um, new stream overlay. Are we in the right one? Yes, this is the right one. New stream overlay. And then I want dot sidebar. 400 pixels. And now. Doesn't matter what we put in the sidebar, it will never overlap. But the only thing that will overlap will be the header. And then we want dot footer for later. This one always, uh, so it's width 400 pixels, max width 400 pixels. I never understood why you need to do these things. And then we have footer, which is gonna be eight. 130, is that what I said? 130 pixels. This one might need to be different because we want it to be, it needs to be at the bottom. Hmm. Will not be in the normal flow of things, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Might need to do it as a as a position absolute, or whatever. You would remove the max width until you need it. I'm going to trust you on that one because I have no idea uh, when you actually need that stuff. So in the sidebar, I'm going to do. Let's do a UL. Ally, and it's going to be introduction. Uh, Ally, member scroll update. See what I'm doing here? <laughs> um, then we could do Ally, member scroll guide. Maker. Obviously, this isn't what we're doing today. Uh, Ember website redesign. This is just redoing what's already there. So let's see. We'll save that. Can't actually see it because. Mm, you will. Just got a task list. And I think what we need to do for our task list. Hmm. 
Oh no, time to remove all the list decorations. Oh, you're so right. I should really have a reset in here, shouldn't I? Okay. See, I can't really see how big that is. Um, let's turn off the to-do items that I have. Okay, oh, list decorations. So, it looks like task list font, wait, bold. Yeah, so it looks like they were using bold and then I want, do you like do big in here? Uh, Oh, it's large. You could do. Um, one. So you're saying one em, but that's odd. I thought that is the same. I thought that, that is the based on the size of the font. Wouldn't that be saying font size is font size? So you, you'd still use 2EM then. Still do... See, that's quite large. So I, I can use... Ah, so it's like 1EM is like, oh, that's the size it would have been anyway. But I could do 1.5 to make it 50% bigger. I think that's kind of okay. Okay, interesting. Because I'd never... Like, I, I've thought about using... EMs for padding and margin and stuff because that makes sense to me it's like oh i'd like the padding to be a proportion of the size of the text but i'd never really thought of it in terms of um making the text a proportion of the size of the text makes sense like but i just hadn't really thought about it <sighs> list reset it irritates me this stuff it okay so now I can do it myself so now we're gonna do we're gonna do something I'm gonna go and do at import is that how it works or does it need to be I guess it's a string is that how it works I'm going to do new file. Uh, UL. Did I not save the other one? Did that work? I didn't see it being wrong. Yeah, so import is working right. So. This isn't doing anything magic ember wise for anybody who's watching. Like this is like at import CSS style. Like, uh, hey, robotic head, welcome, welcome. List style type, you would use none. Oh, interesting that it has zero. That's odd. I didn't even read it. I just copy pasted. Okay. So now we have a reset CSS. It has started. Uh, Robotic head, if you uh, 
weren't following along last week, which you were here last week. Yes, you were. Um, I'm in the process of writing my overlay. As you can see, there's things changing up here as I'm, uh, as I'm changing my CSS uh, task list UL. I should probably make there be padding margin. Um, top bottom 0.5 EM 0.1 EM. Oh, maybe it needs to be padding. Oh, God. Do I have a body reset? I do have a body reset. Uh, thank you, Anne. Body. You're keeping me honest. Uh, and then you said there was a H1 reset. Is that what you thought of as a reset? Yeah, let's do that. And now I am confused. Um, margin, yeah, but it has like we could do a margin zero zero, and then I'd be adding margin ten zero. But yeah, I guess it's fine. Um, now I have a problem. Why do I not have? Padding. Well, did I do? Because oh. I'm an Egypt. Huzzah! That's interesting. Oh no, it does give us what we want. So if we turn back on our other to-do items, what else do it have? Oh, that's interesting. So the selected one is different. I think our size is probably a bit big. Let's do 1.5 and just call it at that. Like you can still see that. That's the right kind of size for y'all, is it? Oh no, I refreshed chat. That was an accident. Ah, oh, but I can still see things. Huzzah. Great. Fantastico. Um, cool. So. What's next? So this is... This is where we get into interesting territory. We are... Active state of your list. Well, so the interesting thing, Anne, about this active state of the list is that kind of feel like yeah i guess we could just put it in and make this like a, a dumb overlay to start and then the last part of this will make it will add some functionality to it <clears throat> um dot task list li dot div uh, we want background color oh this is where it should probably be padding uh, white <laughs> and uh, let's do that as padding see what happens
Yeah, uh, you're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, and I want both. I want margin and padding. Not much as all this. I think I want that. Oh no, it's the other way around. I always get this wrong. I think I want that. Margin to keep it off your code and padding for the background. So that margin only left and right. So that's that then. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking the same. It's interesting because I kind of, I kind of like the idea that it is exactly the width of the sidebar without the, without the, screen because this is the, this is the thing i only want one little piece of overlap which is that open source live um and then everything else has to stay within the screen but because we're a bit more left padding then so to put the even even mm, or can she do something like that? Oh no. Is there? That's the other way around. Right. East. Point five. I like it all the way to the zero EM. Is that a thing? I like it all the way to the right, but maybe I don't want it all the way to the left. <laughs> CSS is hard. CSS is hard, but right now this is not the CSS part of it. It's the, the design, the like, you know, the artistry, exactly what I want it to look like. Um, so this is interesting because, well, is that true? <sighs> I was going to say this could be a larger list. But I don't know that I actually want it to be all that much larger. I don't think I'll ever really have it more than four items. Maybe not. Okay, cool. I think it's timer time. Timer time. Um. Uh, sorry, I'm just have to send my wife a quick text message. Right. Okay. Cool. So. What are we doing? I think we move on to the timer next. Timer time. Um, we can put this guy. Oh, why don't you uh, put him over here for now? Because it's not really obscuring anything. See, I think this is all quite. I don't know if it's. Uh, what do I do? I do a. Uh... Create source projector. That's not what I want. I want like an output projector. Because I see a very small view. Infinite to me. See a very small view of what this looks like. Oh, it actually does look quite good. It's quite crisp. It's not... Um... Whoa. Um, it's not as pixelated as, as the view that I get to see. That's nice. It looks okay, I think. 
you can, you can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to go straight into straight into the next uh, cycle. <laughs> yeah, there's always a bit of a it's always a bit of a delay on uh, Twitch chat and streaming. I find it's always the case whenever I've got a guest on and they're watching the stream for some reason. And it's like, oh, actually, there is a huge delay. Um, okay, so where am I? We have to do a timer. So I want to do a... We're in the sidebar still. And then we're going to do countdown timer. I have this thing. So this is my other stream. Uh, stream overlay. I have a component. So timer. Wow, that's even worse. And having a six second delay between two different streams. Oof. Might we use some of this code here for the timer? Will I just copy across the component? What does it do? What's it doing here? It's that text. That's it. Save class time. So we, we worry about the actual component aspect of it in a bit. Div class time. Make it a time. Error. This is going to be. What's our current thing? Oh. 22, 46, why? Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. This dot timer is actually being added by the root that it's on. That's a bit weird. Mm, task list. Butter. I think we're already at the time where I want to do uh, import. Do up here. Uh, new phone. I keep copying just the contents of my class. Silly, silly timer and then the other one I wanted was new file task yes come on task list let's get you out of there Looking a bit better everything's broken why is everything broken T A S K L I S T dot C S S. The reset's working, but the other ones aren't. Did I break something?
Do all imports need to happen at the top or something? Any thoughts? Anybody? Blah! <laughs> That's weird. Do all imports need to happen at the top of a CSS file or something? Or do I have a... F yeah, that seems to only work when it's at the top. Odd. Who knew? Should... Shouldn't imports always go at the top? See, I didn't know this, because I'm... I'm a little bit, um... Broken with, like, other, uh... CSS tools like we have uh, post CSS, we have SAS, and they have uh, different bits and pieces, different functionalities. Okay, cool. So that's fine. We're back in business. So this one's interesting because the font size of the timer was so that it would be exactly the width of the whole screen. Um, and now it seems to have disappeared. Is it just teeny tiny or something? Where is it? My timer. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's halfway down the thing. Because I have display, flex, justify, left, height. Again, it needed to be the whole width of everything. And, um, and the, in the middle, like from a top down perspective. Right, so we are now getting into the situation where we have all these colors that are like our brand colors. Oh, they're not quite the same either. So let's do a... Is this how you do this stuff? Hassa! <laughs> Woohoo! Aren't I bolder? Oh yes, I haven't even started to get into the um, the actual style for the timer, but yeah. So this is the first time I've ever done a uh, CSS variable. What are they called? CSS custom property myself. <laughs> So what's this? This is the... See, now we've got another problem. What is that? That's like a green. It's like a... What's it? Teal? Is that a teal? You're gonna... I'm probably gonna be judged. Turquoise. Yeah, you're right. It's more turquoise. But how do I spell that? T U R Q Y S turquoise. It seems like a silly thing to do, but I think I have autocorrect for this stuff. Uh, and we have white, which is fine. It's not an off-white yet, so we don't need to. That can be var or purple. Cool. Awesome. So. What do I usually do when I'm coming up with this? I want like a timer. This, exactly what I want. Oh, that looks nice. No, I want a circular one, that. 
code. Oh, it's really smooth. Oh, it's a lot of code though. Edit matches. Ribzonic? Is that how you say it? What is he doing here? Painting. Timer label. So, how does he do this? funny because I've I've done the maths on the timer the other timer like this kind of split that you see but it's I like I like the way that it's more of a stroke if that makes sense it's more of a um, like I don't want the background color have a look over to Uh, I run it again, or do I have to keep refreshing? Yeah, but how did he get the end of it to be right? Dash. How do you have the end to be kind of like um, circular like that? And also, it's super not the same because I'm not using... Um, <laughs> it's the most horrible code. Let's see if I can find it. No, not indexing project. Uh, nope. This one? This one. Uh, full. No, what was it called? Clock? No. Do I have it on this computer? We get projects all, all day. All day. This looks like it could be it. Uh, LS. Stroke line cap. Okay. See, I actually did it with like a, it's not even a, um, okay. not even like a circle, if that makes sense, I don't think, move, why, mid, Where's my circle? No, I must have a, a circle. Um, moment format. Huh. Is it a pie? What am I actually doing? See, this one is doing it as a circle. Although they do have this kind of M... Same sort of stuff that I've got. MM. MV. V. I don't exactly know how I did it before. Try this again and see if this path part of it changes. Is 
This bit doesn't change. Dash array, stroke dash array. Yeah. Right, it's time for us to write some CSS manually. Not CSS, SVG. Right, let's have a go. Only way to do this. Well, let's start. New stream overlay. So we want a timer. And template linter. Why is template linter freaking out on me now? That's all. And we want to do an SVG. Uh, what are you doing? Console. Because I opened this thing. I don't. Copy this. Copy error HTML. Let's see what happens. So come. Close this. Okay, so close him. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody's at the front door. Have it. <laughs> Say hi to them. <laughs> they increase the gap in the stroke. Interesting. Right, so let's see what we've actually got here. Uh, new stream overlay. They also have some CSS. Go back to their thing. Oh, God. Stroke, stroke line cap round, exactly what we want. They have different colors, that's fine. Remember layer, that's fine. But this looks like it's the key thing. Timer. Whoa, what happened there? That's looking good. <laughs> Ship it. And then what did they what did they say that they changed? Changed something in here. Stroke dash array. I don't understand what they changed it to. Try that again. Actually, there's JS. Can I make this bigger? Set circle dash array. OK, 
Calculate time fraction times full dash array. What is full dash array? Oh. the opposite they do it the other way don't they I refresh this skin Should be double what I just had. Yeah, but that's like from zero to two eighty three is like drawing the circle. But I want to have it the other way around. Here, let's make this a bit longer. Uh, uh, time limit two hundred. No, two hundred. Oh, go away. So. I did not copy scale X. I'm going to go and have to figure out what half of these things actually mean once we're done here. Oh, that's it, right? That means that now if it's, uh, where are we? Application HBS, if it's uh, 283, it's everything. And half of that is 142, halfway house. And why is scale minus X? Oh God, this is all very complicated. Um. Cool. Should we finish it? Should we finish it? Yes, let's finish it. I am I am nerd sniped. I have been nerd sniped. Okay, so let's finish it. Finish him. Uh, let's generate it. Let's make it a... Oh, I'm in full day. Why am I in full day? That's also not it. Uh, new stream overlay. Amber G component timer. <laughs> I'm making your day. You are helping me actually figure out what is going on here. Man. I would be lost without you, as ever, when it comes to CSS. And as it turns out, uh, SVG as well. Um, I have to see if I can tweet at this person for helping me as well. Like, I can't find Twitter stuff from there, can you? How do I know if that's the same person? Does look like the same person, author at CSS Tricks. That looks like the right person. If I can... Does he have a Twitter? GitHub is a medium. Is Facebook... Oh, is that a Twitter? 
Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like they have a Twitter. Anyway, thank you, Matt. Matthews? Matthews? Good. Much appreciated. Oh, they're a view person. Ooh, thanks for the sub, Nick. Oh, this is in the wrong place. Thank you for the sub. I'll put this somewhere else. Put it up here. <laughs> That's a terrible place to put it. It's soon gonna live its, um... It stay its welcome. Almost gonna be gone bye-bye. That was a poor choice. Uh, okay, so we've created... What do you mean overlay test? How do you know that it's this overlay test? Oh, you were testing the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the announcements. I guess what I could do with the alerts... I just put them up higher. And then it doesn't matter. And then I'll put this back where it was. Pew, pew, pew. And I think I can replay this. There we go. Thanks for the sub. Uh, cool. So, what are we doing? We created ourselves a component timer. We're going to just steal. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I will do exactly that, uh, Nick. Make you look like... Oh... Can't remember the reference. The richest man in iron? Something? <laughs> uh. Oh, hold on a second. Nick, you are marked as a VIP, but... Uh, and you are not. So how do I do this? VIP... Min... Uh, me. You are now a VIP. I'm not 100% sure what that does. But welcome to the VIP uh, group, class, table. And we'll need uh, the text as well in there too. Um, oh yeah, so that's moving it into the thing, Jake. And now we want to do a timer. A bit big. What's going on here? Oh, it's got a black background. Where's that? So what did I do to make it live class timer application timer? Oh, it's not in the sidebar. Oopsie. That's why it's taking over the entire stream. Is it just a badge, Nick? Oh. What do you mean just a badge? These are, you know, pretty awesome, awesome badges to have. And, uh, not there. Yeah. Interesting though, because I'm not sure I want all of the CSS because it's got this, this like, I know it doesn't make a difference in our actual sidebar because the, um, because it's also got a black background, but it's okay for now. So, 
Ah, what are we doing? Why are we? Why do we care about this? We have got a timer, and I'm going to. Um, oh, I can do. Interfix failed. What does that mean. Uh, component. Now we've got a class, we've got a backing class. Cool. So let's go and steal some of the code that I had from here. Um, yeah, I'm going to just steal it and then we can kind of walk through what it actually does. And do we care about tract? We guess we do care about tract. Because not just the only stuff here. It's just for the text. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, let's copy it in. Let's go from there. Okay, so got a timer, and it's got some stuff in it, um, and we've got some text in there, which we should probably put in the um, PG. Pretty sure. Oh no, it doesn't. It has a. It's not in the SVG. It's just text. It's okay. What's it doing? 300 by 300. Is this whole thing fixed size? Span. Span. Base timer label. Pew. Class base timer label. It is absolute. Seems odd. Can we just have it be on top of? Time in CSS. Span. Span with display flex? Really? Okay. Now you just add it to the bottom. Okay. Um, uh, we're going to go span. And that's going to be class equals label. If I can remember how to. So I want it to be I want it to be in the middle of the timer. But I don't want to I guess it doesn't matter, we can be specific about how big the timer is. In fact, the timer is already filling the whole width. Oh, it's already dynamic. That's very cool. Very happy with that. So the timer is in the middle, but as we say, it's not um, to position relative or something. Don't know. It's doing like position absolute, something something with height top zero. 
let's just do that. Figure it out. Go. <laughs> This is a trick that I do actually know about. But hey. <laughs> but the I don't like that it's uh oh. I want it to be automatically centered, but I don't exactly know how to do that. But that's okay. Uh what do we want to do? Font size 3EM? 4 This is interesting actually because width is always going to be 400 and so then technically is why is it animating in like that? That's so strange. <laughs> a transform. No. Uh, transition. Need a different transfer origin. Really? That is a bit odd. Anyway, it's not too important because that's not the thing that we care about it with this animation. It should be... <sighs> it should be something. What should it be? Let's, let's do the animation part of it now. So we have text, which is based on the... Uh, This is like the time left, essentially. Turquoise text. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Let's fix that timer. Uh... But now I have to remember to spell turquoise. Uh... Yes, it came up in the... Oh, look at that! That high contrast, purple and turquoise. Love it. This is not the most amazing uh, color scheme. It's what we've got. I can probably improve it over time. Right, so. Let's fix some stuff. Uh, import action from ember object. Uh, import tract from ember. Looks like we've solved all of our errors. What we'll crash? What we'll are we crashing for? Did I spell glimmer wrong? Double M? Yes, it is. Huzzah! Okay, so things are working. Uh seconds uh, timer seconds 
Yeah, I was missing an M. One M too few. Timer, and we'll go seconds equals two three. Okay, and now let's make the text. I think I have. Is something like that I already have? Oh, something's happening. Something is happening. Do you have any errors? What's it doing? This works on my other one. Let's do it with 300 seconds. I know that that works. Um, yeah, it's working. Odd. Oh, I know what's happening. I have some protection in... minutes and seconds. I have protection. This dot args dot seconds. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's minutes and So I had protection in the animation aspect of it, but not the um this for now. We in the but not in the like initializing part of it. Cool. Great. And now the only other thing that I think we're missing is um I had a auto timer did insert this dot animate. Don't know if I need to install an add-on for this. It looks like we do. Insert. It's like um, Ember did insert. Ember render modifiers. Boom. Okay, let's install render modifiers. We should have a time that's ticking down, but not a path that's getting shorter yet. Yeah, buddy. Uh, cool. Cool. So, well, it's not all that much maths because it looks like this other person has done the work for us. Um, it 
seconds left or something. These two things. Let's just put them as getters. Okay. They should now timestamp. What's timestamp? Starting time. Uh can't actually do that. So I'll have to do it as this dot seconds left setter. Sub subtract. So do this dot dot seconds left. Then, what we need to do is uh, percent done. Hello, Dragon Blood. Welcome to the fun. We are in the process of building a Twitch overlay, um, which was our goal for the last few weeks. Uh, return. This dot args dot seconds. This dot seconds left divided by this dot args dot seconds. So that's how many. That's the percentage. That's not what we want. <coughs> no worries. You're you're here to reap the benefits, Dragon Blood. You didn't see the goal crossing the finish line, but get to see us work on it. That's the percent done, but that's not what I want. Uh, want this number. Where's it gone? This number to be dash array. So it's like just call it dash array. And it's going to be I don't even know what dash array is. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. That is working on the browser, but not in the overlay. Huh. That is an interesting problem. Why do we think that might be? Oops. 
start the overlay. Overlay testing. Huh. <laughs> Robotic head, yes, I did just turn it off and on again. Okay, so let's get rid of the extra um, timer, HBS. Okay, let's get rid of the extra 22 minutes because that's not, doesn't need to be there. I have a feeling that this is a browser issue. Because the browser source will be like using a particular browser type, embedded browser, and it mustn't have the functionality necessary for whatever is happening here. But I don't even know what the browser is. Um. Fresh cash. Mm. Doing anything? No. So, uh, OBS browser source. Even know. How do I know what type of browser it is? This it, Nick. OBS browser, most likely CEF based OBS Studio browser. Chromium embedded framework. Do we know what Chromium it is? What is Chromium embedded framework? So it's just the actual embedding thing. Uh, so how do I know what browser version it is? Navigator.useragent. Yeah, that's a good idea. Text. There's our answer. <laughs> uh, how do I f how do I select that? I don't know if I can. So <laughs> uh, let's put it in the application. Uh, is it easy to put it in the application? How do you know that's? Oh, it's Chrome eighty five. Yeah. Um, that's quite old then. So how do we know what part of our CSS slash whatever See I don't know if we can do dev tools in OBS browser. I'm gonna turn on my old school timer for now anyway, and then I'll I'll have to go at the end of this one. So we'll we'll have made some progress, but we won't have completed the magical 
uh, set of things that I was hoping for. Let me see. Five. Um... Apparently, I have to start OBS with remote debugging port. But I'm not gonna start. Uh, restart the stream for that. Hmm. Might be a floating number issue. Um, could be. Uh, I thought that might be the case when uh, back to where. Um, see it be able to see it in the OBS one but we'll be able to have a look in our own personal one oh, it is qu quite a lot of math stuff oh it's supposed to <laughs> whoopsie At least we're getting 60 frames a second. Most of the time. So the other question is... If we use a different method to stroke a SVG... That's how, that's how they do, that's why it's that kind of path. Yeah, arcs, yeah, I remember this. Oh, sorry, there's a whole conversation going. I don't think we have it going too fast for OBS. Um, so uh, we found a we found a code pen, Dragon Blood. Um, this thing that we were using to uh, cancel. How do I just run it again? Run it again. Start again. Go. Time limit. We do that. Let's start it again. Does. As that. So we have this SVG, which is using. Stroke dash array. But I don't know what stroke dash array actually is. And it's essentially this is kind of like a percentage 
off apparently 283 which magic number i don't know why it's there um i'm trying to see if there's an alternative Chris Coyer. Let's have a look at Chris Coyer's pen. He's, yeah, but he's got a... Dash. Dash array instead of dash off. Let's have a look and see what stroke dash array actually is. Be the plumber back. The stroke dash array attribute is a presentation attribute to find the pattern of dashes and gaps used to paint the outline of a shape. What's this? Oh, we're going into Nick's experiments. Is it not a dangerous place to be in this experiment? Uh, path. We have dash array. But you have dash offset as well, though. They don't have dash offset. They're just changing the dash array. So let's try that. Let's have a look. See. Oh, am I doing something really stupid? No, I'm not, because it's it's working in one browser and not working in the other. Oh, that's odd. It's working in one and not the other. Okay, so let's try stroke dash array. And so people are doing like a thousand. Then stroke. Dash. Types. Ah, but it's TypeScript. I can't read that stuff. Dash array dash offsets. Hard DNA types is not no types at all. Hashtag just saying. Uh, SVG box dot TS. I couldn't find it because I was looking for the JS. Oh my god. Oh, it's a circumference. So we know that the circumference is whatever it was a second ago. That happens to be the circumference of this thing. Dash offset seems to work. So dash offset. Huh, so that that's a that's also a positive thing. So dash dash offset is two is three. Is it empty or full? Okay, so timer. Let's try dash offset and see what happens. Um, it 
this works, I'll be very happy. <gasps> Look at that. That is success in circular form. Oh. Look at it count down beautifully. <laughs> so happy with that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That is very cool. How smooth that animation is. Oh. <laughs> I am very happy with that. I have to thank you all for helping me get to this point. Do I still need the other property? Which other property are we talking about? So we we had stroke dash array as two numbers, which means something. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but we've moved to using dash array as one number, which I think is a circumference and then dash offset as the other one. Even add a transition on it too with a linear ease to keep it smooth if your timer duration is short. So the timer duration will always be um will always be like five or twenty-five minutes. So it's not gonna be a short. Um but I think there's already a transition. Let's try ten seconds. Oh, my word, look at that. Is that jumpy? I can't tell. Oh, I think that's definitely a transition. Oh, smooth like butter. Although, why has it gone over the end? What happened there? <laughs> Did it go into the minus numbers? And the end is weird. Yeah. Uh, you have a max. Don't you? That works. That's a thing, right? The end is not. <laughs> Bye, robotic head. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure to see you. What is going on? Oh, it's... I'm really confused. In that and two, a three. I'm, I'm getting confused where the... Like, are we going to zero? Are we going to the... Maximum. Boom. So it'll never be more than 283. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So I don't have very much time left. I have 10 minutes left. So uh, let's go back and have a look at our... Um, have a look at our plan. So we've done... We've done the, the, the HTML at least for the title for the to-do items for our beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, timer. Although I do want to get rid of this background. Why is there... It's this circle, isn't it? No. A stroke. Or maybe we have to put in as a fill. Fill none or fill transparent or something?
Ooh, that's weird. It's got a, it's got a transition on Bill. So, isn't it like you get RGBA? How'd you get? Boom! Fill transparent or fill none. Let's try that in the um. People just transition all. Do I have transition all? I don't. Oh, I do have an all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's lazy, but it makes things all smooth. Uh, fill none. This none. Do that. Could do it. No. Also getting well, cause I I did it already, and it seemed to work. I'm confused. Do we need that? We don't. It was the circle, so I have the fill. We were drawing a circle as well as the timer. Boom. Fill none. Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's move this thing back over here. Inside our Tomsters. Our Zoe and our Tomster. Put them in the right direction there. There you go. You can still see them. So. Right. Where was I? Yes, so we've done the timer. We've done the... Uh, oh, what's going on here? Got a to-do list. Overlay testing. We don't need the old to-do items anymore. And you'll be happy, Nick. Turn off the overlay testing. See this? See this? That live? Gone. Open source live is within the boundaries now. What's well, interesting, though, because our... um. Camera needs to be 400 pixels from the end. And what did we say the bottom was? I can't remember, it was like two something. Oh no, 400 from the end. Two twenty-three. Hmm. I think my screen has a different ratio to my camera. Interesting. That's, that's the look we're going for. Cool. So I guess this is going to be a two week thing. For sure. So we've got a timer there, but one thing I don't like about it is that the timer is. Oh, that's interesting. Overlay testing. I think I need to. For this to work the way I want. Refresh browser after scene becomes active. So that means we've got like um got a thing that we want for a 25 minute timer. Um what is it? Uh 25 times 60. 1500. How many seconds we do in our Pomodoros? So we've got our our Pomodoro set up, which is nice, awesome. Uh, it'll eventually look like the time is going down. Probably make this a bit smaller as well. I don't know. Alright, uh, we have a plumber going in there. The front door is wide open. I don't know if we've lost a dog. We'll find out later. Um, okay, so 
the demonstration that I'm trying to show you here is that actually if we go between overhead oh that's interesting so that's okay I guess because it's the same item but if I go into just chatting we have a timer running over there and then I go back to overhead. It starts the timer again. Huh. That's interesting. That might be okay. Don't know if we need to persist that. <laughs> it sounds a bit broken. I think the brokenness that you're hearing is the uh, stress that it's putting on my... Uh, it's the stress that it's putting on my laptop. <laughs> it is, uh, yeah. They, everybody always recommends to never stream on a Mac because they don't seem to do it as well as Windows machines. And I don't 100% know. I trust other people. Um, cool. So that means that next week... We're continuing on this road. We're going to um, add in some styles for my uh, chat messages. I want them to be able to pop in. Uh, like n animate in from the bottom. And then the more we add, they kind of like, oh, excuse me. They stack off to the side. I think then we won't do the goal stuff yet after that. Yeah, kind of like a toast message, but I don't want them to I don't want them to like just show and then disappear. I want them to be like, yeah, pushed in essentially. It wouldn't be too difficult. I have to do a bit of work on the design of this thing and then the other thing is I've got this uh, border around me that's not the best you can see that it's it's changing color every so often so we should probably figure out what those colors are because that's another color we could use for accents and whatnot but it is it's kind of like cycling through all these colors Um, this uh, Overlay came with a bunch of these things, but they're they're all like videos. Let me see, webcam, webcam something. Is it? Oh, webcam four three, webm. Properties. Oh, did I break my computer? So let's see if I can open this. Um, go to go. Is it? And shift. Yeah, go to folder. Right now, I need to transition back to my program so you can actually see this. This is the name of the like the overlay stuff that I got um, and it's got like a bunch of images and stuff that's our a background that's used but it's also got like it'd be really cool if we could recreate this in HTML it's strange though um, but the one that I'm talking about is, ooh, bing bada boom, there, webms, it's actually showing webm, webp is the video one, no, that's not what it was, where's the one, or, oh no, no. They're all the same. Why <laughs> they do have so many of them? I 
can't see it. But yeah, so the 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 little box around me is a is a video, and that's what's actually causing the the color changes up here. And if we're doing a browser based overlay, we might as well recreate that as well. So we're going to do that. I'm going to recreate my my little box. See, and I'm I'm wrapping up now anyway, so you're not going to miss anything. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all the help. This has been very cool. Always appreciate people uh, participating in the chat so that uh, I can actually get things done. If I had to struggle by myself, I wouldn't get very much done. Um, yeah, so we've got a goal for next time. Um, got everything started. Then once we get the chat HTML working, then we have to start putting in our server, putting in the to do items as like dynamic and so we can change it and have it so that we watch the chat and have them pop up. When that works, I'm going to be very happy, but it looks a little bit complicated, so I might do some reading between now and next week. So that's it for me, everybody. Uh, thanks for. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, contributing to the awesome overlay. And I will see you all again. Bye.